Hello, welcome to Useful and Useless Things number seven. This time it's a useful thing with some limitations due to its small size. The Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. Okay, well this is a Maxpedition product. So you know, it's well made. It's made of quality materials. It's American design, made in Taiwan, as you can see here. The outside and inside are very nicely stitched. There's a little convenient handle here, which lets you pull out of the pocket very easily. There's a little loop here that you can use to connect a key, or in my case, I might use a small um, light so I can find my way around in this thing in the dark. Always good to have a little flashlight in any kind of pouch because you can find things more easily that way. And I have here some typical stuff I might carry um, with me in my pocket. These are all little things which you don't want to have to fish in your pocket for. You want to just be able to, to pull one thing out and then have everything organized. So I'm going to put some typical stuff in here. None of it is necessarily what I would carry, but it's just I brought it together just to show you some of the things that you can put in it. This is a Griptilian, mini Griptilian pocket knife, and it goes pretty well in one of these big loops here. There's two big loops, three smaller ones. It can also, I think, you could squeeze it into one of the smaller ones, but it's kind of a tight fit. It can be done. But I'm going to use the bigger one for that one for now. There's always a trade-off between it fitting comfortably and not tight enough so that it's falling out. Now, if it's got a pocket clip like this, well, you know, just holds it in there pretty well. Um, so I'll put some other stuff in here. This is my key organizer. It's made of carbon fiber, and I'll put that in there. It's got a little flashlight attached to it. Yes, I know these. we now have redundant flashlights. Um, that's just for demonstration purposes only. And in here, uh, in this little pocket, I will probably want to put some flat odds and ends. You don't want to put anything too bulky in there. Um, although I, this little tool um, for my waterproof cell phone, I might stack that in there. It's, that's not too thick. Or I can also put it alongside this uh, one of these other tools, just sort of put it in there like that. It won't fall out easily. I do recommend that when you take it out, you lay it as flat as you can, so things don't just go flying out. Um, or at least have it so that the pockets are up, the opening of the pockets up so they don't, stuff doesn't come out. Uh, I'm, I can put a small charge cable in uh, as an example. I never seem to have a micro USB charge cable when I want one. This is a little, uh, actually it's got a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD in it. I'll just stick that in there with that because it's too small to be held by this loop by itself, but you can sort of share the tension. This is actually one of my favorite multi-tools. I'll probably do a video on this one. This is a photographer's multi-tool. I have two of these different, uh, different manufacturers. This is by NovaFlex. Um, it doesn't cut anything, but it can tighten just about whatever you need to tighten. So I'll have that. And you should always have something to write with. This is a right in the rain bullet pen. Now, you'll note that's too loose. So, you know, you always need a AAA battery. So I'll stick that in there. And on this side, I have a small, very flat um, notepad, notepad, which I really like. Also, I like to have with me at all times a small bag or other container that I can put something tiny in if I find it or lose it or uh, like a screw or whatever. So I always just have one of those around. Um, and of course, probably the most useful thing in the galaxy is a towel. And after a towel, a small, very soft cloth. Now, people give me these whenever I get anything optical. I usually get one of these. So uh, even things that are not optical, like uh, just photography hardware, they'll give you one of these. So I've got a bunch of them. 
and I will just stick that into now before I zip it closed I'll put this in here because there's less tension on it and just sort of stick that in there have a little bit of it poking out so it's easy to grab zip it up and it goes right in the pocket it's beautiful um, you can see it's about the size of my hand and I just put it in the pocket like this and I just reach in and grab it good quality zipper uh, no resistance really no, no sticking and I'm I expect that that will last a long time I'm hoping that this lasts me at least two or three years without the zipper going sticky or the handle coming off the stitching looks very good quality I think I'd have to pretty much abuse it to get it to to break and uh, so I like it and I'm thinking of getting two or three more of these because they're great for organizing little things and little things we always tend to have lots of little things that we want to take with us too many uh, it's good to have them organized, otherwise you just never find them in your bag. So that's useful and useless things again. The Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. Now they do make larger ones, they have a mini, uh, they, they don't really fit in my front pocket very well. So this is the one that fit and, you know, it's nice and, uh, nice and compact and will keep your stuff organized. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you want to see more of these videos, like and subscribe. Yeah, the more likes and subscribes I get, the more of these I'll do. And I'll see you next time on Useful and Useless Things. By the way, I'm going to try to come up with a useless thing, so if you have any suggestions, let me know what you think.